Hi everyone, so I hope um, all is well with you and thank you to connect to my channel today. Um, today uh, I was thinking about sharing with you um, my review, a little bit of more um, uh, inside of the book. How far is this America? This is the French version here. But there is also the English version. So the book was written, I think, um, uh, two or three years ago, if I remember. And it's a book about uh, a story of immigration. Um, if you are very interested in stories like that, then that's the book for you. Okay, sorry uh, if my English can be sometimes uh, not well understood, I don't know. Um, I might have uh, maybe not the right words to explain, I mean to elaborate a little bit more in um, what I want to say about the book. But the book is uh, it's interesting. So the story starts um, with a young girl, a young lady, who is half uh, French and from an island. Her father is French and the mom, she's from the island. Uh, there is no too much um, information concerning that part, but uh, she's from a mixed race uh, marriage. And the parents, unfortunately, didn't live together anymore after they got divorced. So the father of the main character of the book, whose name is uh, Valen, Valen Mino, she is the main character of the book. Her parents are separated, divorced. The father lives in France and the mom lives in uh, Ireland. So Valen, at some point, she went to study in France, you know, where her father lives, with her brother. Then she got a degree in fashion industry. She went back home in Ireland where she felt, when she felt more comfortable, where she felt that she is herself. She went back home. Then she got connected again with her friend through uh, Facebook, you know, a friend of high school years. Her friend was gone to study in America. She was gone after high school. She left the island. Her name is Leah. Leah, uh, I forgot the name of, the, of her friend's name. So Leah sent her a letter. You know, they were connecting, they were talking together. And she, no, she sent her a message, I mean, as they usually do, um, did, I would say, because in the past. So, where well, she invited her to go to for more opportunity in America, where she lives. So, her best friend, Leah, she's married to um, an American man. I forgot what job he was. I think he was an architect, I think. I don't remember exactly. And um, Leah, she uh, she told her best friend, Valen, who is the main character of this book, to come to America. And she advised her to start a new journey. And since she's very much into fashion, I mean, why not? I mean, there is New York City, the big apple, where you have, you know, the fashion world and etc. So, but, I mean, but Valen, she was kind of reluctant about this suggestion, she's this proposition, because she has the cliché, some clichés about the country that she watch on TV, like every foreigner, when they live in America, uh, they live um, 
outside they have this uh, idea of what america is from the movies from the tvs like it's a very big country where everything is big where people are not that healthy that's why she felt that there is racism there is such and such so many things okay but then Leah was living a good life, you know, she had a good life there. She, um, she has a job uh, on, on her own. She's married to someone who's making a good life. And she lived her American dream. So she wants her friend, Lee, uh, her friend Valen, to come to America. So... She advised her, look, just take a student visa or you can go back to school. And then we don't have to spend too much time there in school. Then you can start looking for a job in the fashion industry. But what Leah forgot to tell Valen is like since 9-11, America has been completely different. The laws has been complete, have been completely different for international especially for students. So, Valen didn't you know, know that. She just fought and fought for days, then later on, she finally said, you know what, I'm going to drop everything that I have here. I have a good job, but since I want to go to the, I want to work to the international level, you know, being my island will not give me that opportunity. So, yeah, I think I will just go to America and see what's going to happen. She, um, she didn't pack everything as you read in the book. As you were reading the book, she packed everything. She saw what she had. Then she left for America. Uh, first her trip from her country to France and to France, the first stop was France and then from France to America to New York City. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, she, um, she met a guy in the plane. She met a guy on her way to New York City. And that you have to remember the name of this guy because you will see him later. So she met the guy, his name was Gray. And she didn't know, I mean, in the plane, she didn't really care first because she was so, she, she was inside. She was lost in her fault, you know, kind of sad and kind of thrill and kind of a little bit anxious to know what's going to happen to her on the other side. You know, she doesn't know America. She's never been there. She has no family member, only her best friend. She was supposed to go to the home family, homestay family, but her friend told her, look, you will not learn English in homestay family. I mean, you don't have very much possibility to you know you know to learn English there because she was supposed she was going to to start with an English school first she uh, in the in the in the flight they start interacting they start talking and then Gray was speaking a little bit of French with an American accent but he couldn't speak good French, of course, because he doesn't speak French. But he was working for an international uh, organization. And that's why he traveled often. And that's the reason why he could speak some other languages other than English. So they talked together. And then uh, when they landed, I mean, she had a very good... Um, she felt really good about him you know talking to him and such and then he told her look i give you my phone number and i gave you my email maybe you can contact me again maybe we can talk again after when you go to america